Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in Python Django web application how to create a new super user and how to change the super user name and how to change the password of the super user and the last how to delete a super user from the db.sqlite3 database. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Visual Studio Code to create a new Django web application. If you notice in this explorer panel, I have already created a folder named Django Tut. Now let's create a new Django web application in this folder. For that go to view and select terminal. And here we got our terminal which is nothing but a command prompt. And if you notice in this command prompt, the path is showing this the folder name Django icon Tut. The path is a D drive. Now let's create the Django application, Django iPhone admin and create project, start project store, start project and Django app is my application and click enter. And if you notice the folder, the project is successfully created. Let me expand this folder. In this folder, there is one manager PY and one and subfolder which contains some necessary Python files. Now, first let's run the application, copy this application name, I'm adding my application name to the path, then let's run the server python manage.py run server enter. And if you notice when I run the server, it shows zero, no issues. But we have 15 unapplied migrations. Let's do that one also. Control C, Python manage.py migrate. Enter. And here the migration, the database is adding to our project. So after that, let's run the server. Python manage.py run server. Enter. And now if you notice there is no issues in our applications and also we, we have not received any the warnings of the migrations and you know that we have the web server link so let's browse that control plus mouse click and here we got the default output of the project which is a Django web page so which means our project is working successfully let's a redirect to the admin panel admin enter so now here we got the Django administration of our web server so when we want to log in with the Django administration page we require one super user right now we don't have any super user so first let's create a new super user control C let's come out from this server after that uh, to create a super user, python manage.py create super user. Enter. The create super user single word. And if you notice, here it's prompting with the username. Let's create a new super user. I'm adding the admin. You can add any username here. Then the email id is admin at gmail.com. Enter. And the password is admin123 admin123 enter here i got small, small warning here the password is too similar to the email id so I just bypassing the password click y for s and here we got a message super user created successfully let's log in with our admin details admin um, admin123 is a password so username is admin and the password is admin123 click login oh sorry for that first we have to run the server now let's read up the browser now let's log in with our credentials admin the password is admin123 enter login and 
and here we have successfully logged in with the Django administration page with our welcome admin. If we check the users, our username admin, we check the green tick mark which is a super user. Uh, next thing is how to change the, the password of the admin again switch back to the Visual Studio come out from the server to change the mm, super user password uh, python manage.py change password I want to change the password of the user here the user is the admin enter and notice here, I'm, I'm getting the prompt with the password. Let's add the password is a, a Charan123, enter, Charan123, enter. So here the password changes successfully from user admin. So now let's run the server first. So if I run the server, now let's notice when I reload this admin administration, see it's logged out. Now when I try to log in with my the first password which is the admin123, when I click login, see here, we got an error message, the validation error message. Now let's enter with the correct password, the correct password is charan123. When I click login, see so here we got the login with admin details. And see how we are successfully logged into the administration panel. Welcome admin. Now the third step, how to change the, the username of the admin. Again switch back to the coding part. Let's control C to exit the server. To change the username. We need to open the shell uh, python manage.py shell enter. So now, so now when we want to change the username, we need to import the class. So from django dot contrib uh, contrib dot authentication dot morals from this morals i'm importing the user uh, the u is capital here enter after that uh, to change the password user the class name dot objects dot get i'm getting the username here so username is equals to our username is admin Single quotes, let's close this one. Let's prove, put this one change username is an object. After that, enter change username dot. I'm adding the property username is equals to is equals to now between single quotes. Uh, right now our username is admin if you check here the admin is a username now i want to change the username from admin to charan enter after that we have to change save changes change username dot save method so now when i press enter the admin username changed to charan so let's come out from the shell exit now let's run the server again enter again we don't have any issues now when i reload notice here right now the username is the admin now when i reload see here the username is chen the green tick mark which is a super user now let's delete the super user again switch back to the visual studio code Control c come out from the server again let's go to shell shell python manager py shell 
So now, let's import the class, uh, which is a uh, user from Django contrib auth models of user. Now to delete the user, user dot objects dot objects dot all all the username is the property is equals to the username is uh, Charan. Right now our super username is a Charan. I want to delete comma is underscore super user if the channel is super user is equals to true dot delete method d l e t delete method that's it and i click enter oops here we got another it's not all it's get it's get get enter let's come out from the shell exit now let's run the server after I run the server again we don't have any issues now notice when I reload this browser see see it's logged out because we don't have any username here Let's log in with the admin, with the Charan. Now the username is a Charan. Charan. The password is Charan123. Login. See, we got the validation error. That's it.